do not want to miss the rapture. You think tribulation and the judgment and wrath of God's on the earth right now? Trust me, friends. This is the, the Lord showed me about a week ago. I had an encounter with the Holy Spirit. By the way, we should never use encounters to establish doctrine. We should only use scripture to establish doctrine. Before I continue, I am a minister of the gospel of Lord Jesus Christ. Please, I need your help. Subscribe to my ministry channel. Share my videos. Hit the like button. Do not hit the dislike button. I'll find you and pray for you. I'm just kidding. But about a week ago, the Lord really visited me, friends. And he said, what's in this book that was written in 1973 by the prophet David Wilkerson is going to come to pass a lot faster and manifest on the earth in its fullness. Now, we've already seen the legalization of marijuana. We're coming off ethnic race wars um, where the killing and murder, the senseless tragedy of Mr. George Floyd, and certainly my condolences as a minister of the gospel to his family and people that are mourning that death. But Jesus said, friends, in Matthew 24, race wars would come, nation against nation in the Greek. That means ethnic groups against ethnic groups. He talks about plagues and pestilences were coming off the COVID-19 and the coronavirus. Where I reside in New York, we got hit harder than any other state in the nation. The word plague is mentioned over 100 times in the Bible. He talked about wars, rumors of wars, earthquakes in diverse places. That means simultaneously when you see more wars and earthquakes taking place daily than at any other time in the history of man, you know, summer's nigh now. The Lord is sounding a trumpet in this hour. Can you not hear it? Joel says, blow the trumpet in Zion, sound the alarm in my holy mountain. Now, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 talks about this trumpet. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God. Can you not perceive? Can you not discern? Can you not hear in this spirit realm prophetically the trumpet being sounded, my friends? The call for an army for God. Now, I believe simultaneously we're going to see a great move of God. The separation's begun. The wheat from the tares, the sheep from the goats, heaven and hell, angels and demons. The Lord separating. He brought a separation so that it would be evident. And people with the harvest could be uh, obviously harvested. We're in the midst of a great awakening and outpouring. So simultaneously, Isaiah 60 says, Arise, shine, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord's risen upon thee. Though gross darkness covers the land, the light and the glory of Jesus shines the brightest in the times of the darkest. So it's the great and terrible day of the Lord. Great if you're on God's side, not so good if you're not. If you're not on God's side, if you wouldn't be raptured today, if you wouldn't be caught up, verse 17, for then those who are alive and remain shall be caught up to meet the Lord in the air, the great catching away, the rapture of the church, the ones that are blood washed, that are saved, that are born again. If you're not living right for Jesus, if you're not living in purity and holiness or moving towards that through the grace of God, it's only by the grace of God that enables us to serve him and give us the victory over sin. But I'm asking you, if you're not washed in the blood of Jesus, if you've never confessed Christ as Savior, I'm going to give you an altar call right now. Don't, don't close your eyes if you're flying an airplane or driving a car, but Jesus comes by invitation only. He'll never make you serve him. God didn't create robots. God gave us a free will. So you can accept Christ out of obedience or reject him out of disobedience. You control the doorknob to your heart. The most moral person under the sound of my voice cannot and will not make heaven their home through works. Salvation is a gift. Now, we're eternal beings. You will never die. You're going to take your last breath one day. No one here has found the fountain of youth. No one's immortal. If you found that fountain, give me a drink. Pray this prayer with me. Accept Jesus. It's not in reciting the prayer. It's the faith behind it that triggers and activates God to come take residence in you. The Bible says if you believe in your heart and confess with your mouth that God raised Jesus from the dead, you shall be saved. Come on. Say, Jesus, thank you for dying on the cross of my sins. Thank you for being my Lord and Savior. In the comments section, if you prayed that prayer, 
Just say, Rob, I prayed the prayer. I want to pray for you as a minister of the gospel. The Lord loves you. Be blessed in Jesus' name. Please subscribe to my ministry channel. Watch the videos over six, seven, eight minutes. They're Bible studies. Share them. The Lord bless you. Amen.